Hey guys, real short video for this week. Um, so this week we're going to start to transition into electricity and kind of steer away from the rock cycle and minerals. I know there's not a whole lot to do with rocks or minerals without um, some of the science kits that we have in school. You guys can't really make the observations on a lot of those rocks. So for the most part, everybody did really, really well on the quiz. Um, lots of hundreds. If you're not happy with the grade, maybe you got one wrong. That's totally fine. You can go back and retake it as many times as you want. Um, I, a bunch of you guys emailed me, and I appreciate that. For the short answer, I don't know why Google automatically marks it wrong, but you guys could have had a variety of answers. I'm Based on the submissions that I've gotten, you guys are getting the answers right. You're looking for the right categories. You're fine. I have to go in and manually grade the two short answers just to make sure that you... Um, that you got them right and that you actually typed an answer. So I don't know why Google marked some of the answers wrong. But the only other thing I'm going to say is I think I had three or four submissions without names. So if you didn't type your name, it looks like there's a no name, but you might have gotten 100 on it. Um, so just make sure you go back and resubmit a quiz with your name on it. Um, but don't worry about those short answers. Um, a lot of you guys will see that it's reflected. Even if you got an 8 out of 10, that would really be... A 10 out of 10, it would have been 100 because those two short answers needed to be marked by me. Okay, so really good job. Got lots of mineral web quests. Good job with that too. Um, that shouldn't have taken you too, too long. Um, I know it was just an internet search, but some of them were basic minerals that you might have already come across. So um, like calcium or iron, different things in different foods and how they were utilized. So really good job on that. Um, this week, you're only going to have one assignment, and it's to find 10 items that utilize electricity around your house. So in the doc that I'm going to post um, today, and that's already up if you want to have it up while you're watching this video, is you're going to find 10 items in your house that utilize electricity, and you're going to write on the left in the left-hand column um, the item, and then in the right-hand column, you're going to say, how does it use electricity? How is um, electricity being produced to make this object work. So the example I gave was a remote. Well, a remote only works if you put batteries in it most times, unless you're super fancy and have um, a more high-tech setup at home. So um, you're going to start to kind of look at, you know, things in your home that utilize technology and just do a basic brainstorm and you're going to submit that by Friday and that's all. This week we won't have a discussion post because I want a couple people to get caught up on old discussion posts, old assignments. I know we're kind of nearing the end of the school year and I know it's really stressful. So just make sure that, you know, you're checking the Home Access Center. If you have a question about the Home Access Center, I know a couple people said, you know, my internet's down, the Home Access Center might, might not be up. I think it was actually down for maintenance for a little bit uh, Monday. So if you guys just want to make sure that you are checking up on your assignments and you're all caught up. I know I've been emailing home just as a check-in. It's not um, anything negative. It's just to make sure that you guys are on task and that you have all of the assignments you know, up to date and that you have 100 in class and try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. But if you ever have any questions, please, please, please email me, okay? It's not a bother. If you don't understand how to submit something, if you're still having trouble with Schoology, it's really not... Um, it's not the end of the world if it's late. It's really not. It's okay. Take your time. I'm just sending emails home just to make sure that you guys are updated on what the assignments were in the past and in case you missed anything. So please do not stress. And um, just a couple mental health items. Just make sure that if you have been staring at the screen like you're catching up on math or you're catching up on ELA or science, take a break. Okay. I know sometimes I don't have the greatest vision, so I don't like looking at my computer for hours on it. I might spend an hour or two and get up and go cook something or, you know, another hour or two and then go do like go on a run. Okay. So make sure that you're taking breaks. I know it can be a lot, um, especially when you have, again, siblings and um, parents that are using it for work. So don't, don't overthink or don't overstress too much. Um, your teachers are here to, here to help. Obviously this is not ideal. And I know we're kind of nearing the end again of the school year, but also of being completely stuck at home. So hopefully, you know, everybody's going to get out and enjoy their time soon, just uh, getting some fresh air, maybe exploring new areas. So your teachers are here to help if you need anything. 
Um, otherwise, have fun on your scavenger hunt around your house looking for 10 electric items, okay? So we're going to start to move into electricity, so um, have some fun with it. You can kind of do a scavenger hunt with your siblings if you want, I guess, um, if they want to help you name some different items, all right? So please don't use the examples that I gave. So I think I did um, a microwave and a remote. So those two items are off limits for your scavenger hunt, but... Good luck. I hope you find an additional 10 items. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys.